Recently, the folks at SV Powell, Mike Taylor, and Matt Weddle performed an analysis of the specimen BYU 9024. They figured out it was a cervical vertebra, a C9 to be specific, of a barosaurus. And it was big. Really big. The 9024 C9 was twice the size of ROM 3670s, the largest barosaurus discovered in Canada, and it even dwarfs that of BYU 3GR, which until now was the largest barosaurus in the world. But what exactly is the size difference here? Let's use Argentinosaurus to compare. Recent estimates put it at around 80 metric tons and 33.5 meters long, while the ROM Barosaurus is a fraction of the size at 20 tons and 27.5 meters. So proportionally, it's lighter and thinner than our South American heavyweight, so it would take a massive specimen to even come close. SV Pow's isometrics place BYU 9024 at 50 meters long, scaling up the C9s of other skeletons. We can put that number into a square cube law equation and find out how heavy this monstrous sauropod really was. Wow. So, if SV Powell is correct in their identification of the C9, and if their isometrics are on point, then Barosaurus dwarfs Argentinosaurus. That's a difference of... 40 metric tons and nearly 17 meters, equal to the difference between a dolphin and a humpback whale. The difference between a velociraptor and a pack of Tyrannosaurus. The difference between Harambe and the Kong family. The difference between Godzilla and Caligon... No, not really. Nowhere close. That's more like several trillion tons. And it's not like Barosaurus is 40 tons and Argentinosaurus weighs nothing, so the earlier analogies were a little dramatic, but Argentinosaurus is only 66% the size of BYU 9024. So there's the answer. Now if only we could find the rest of Ampicelius. By the way, this Barosaurus weighs more than an average blue whale. That's a little terrifying. Created using Powtoon.